Andrew Huberman is to the self-development industry what BlackBerry Messenger was to teenagers. So you may be wondering, what is the anti-Huberman morning routine? But before we get into that, who is Andrew Huberman? I'm Andrew Huberman, and I'm a professor of neurobiology and ophthalmology at Stanford School of Medicine. And he has become quite popular over the last two years or so, specifically with his routines. One in particular being his morning routine, which consists of waking up at 6.30, walking outside in the sunlight, drinking salt water, not looking at your phone, working for 90 minutes, drinking coffee, exercising, having a cold shower or a cold plunge, and then eating at 11 a.m. Now the goal of this morning routine is to make you more energetic, productive, and focused. Remember these because they're gonna be important later on. Before we get into the anti-Huberman morning routine and why do it, we need to know a little bit about Charlie Munger. Rest in peace, an incredible thought leader who had a framework which he called inverted thinking, where it states, if you want to achieve something, think about what you would have to do to absolutely not achieve that thing giving you the roadmap to failure. And by giving you the roadmap to failure, it paints a clearer picture of the roadmap to success. You may be thinking, why did I bring up Charlie Munger and the inversion thinking principle? I'll go over that in the next minute. I already made a video where I did the Huberman morning routine. Now I will try the anti-Huberman morning routine. Oh, fuck that. So Huberman morning routine states that you get up at 6.30 in the morning. The anti-Huberman morning routine states that you get up whenever the fuck you want to. So now nine o'clock, you get up with the sun. The whole point of getting up early is to obviously get work done, but we're not thinking about that today. I spend the rest of the morning completely botching. <laughs> Routine, which is essentially the anti-Huberman morning routine. Looking at what the normal Huberman morning routine states and doing the complete opposite every step of the way. Waking up late, scrolling on the telephone as soon as you wake up. Drinking coffee right after you wake up, eating right after you wake up, having a warm shower and not going outside until about midday. So I'm going outside for the first time now, it's 2 p.m. The reason I wanted to use the Charlie Munger inversion thinking framework was because essentially what the Huberman morning routine attempts to do is to give you as much energy, to make you as productive and to make you as focused as possible. What the inversion thinking framework states is obviously if you want to achieve something, obviously we want to be productive, have energy and be focused throughout the day, flip that on its head. And therefore you get the anti-Huberman morning routine, which is essentially doing the opposite of the Huberman morning routine. I've already done the Huberman morning routine, so check that out in the description below. And the reason I wanted to do this was just to find out how different I'd actually feel if I didn't do that, right? One would think that if you do absolutely everything wrong, then you probably wouldn't feel that good. But that's exactly what I wanna find out in this video. Flip everything on its head and see how I feel at the end of the day. So it's the morning after of doing the anti-Huberman morning routine. How did I feel yesterday? Definitely distracted. When you wake up and the first thing you do is look at your phone, you set yourself into this rhythm of always wanting these little dopamine highs throughout the day. So I found myself being distracted a lot more. Apart from that, when you wake up and the first thing you do is look at your phone, have a cup of coffee, eat, have a warm shower. Not only do you waste that very productive time at the beginning of the day, but also you don't challenge yourself. When you challenge yourself at the beginning of the day by doing those little hard things, it sets yourself up for a really good day in the sense that you've already challenged yourself. So you've given yourself a sense of confidence at the beginning of the day because you've done those hard things. Apart from that, it's the small things that add up. If you work for 90 minutes at the beginning of the day, that's 10 and a half hours at the end of the week. If you have a cold shower, if you wake up early, if you don't eat, if you delay your coffee gratification, if you go and exercise, those are all small things that add up and add up that are gonna have a massive amount of benefit down the line. Should you have a morning routine and should it be this specific morning routine? No, I don't think it has to be this specific morning routine. I think this is more of a rough framework and you just need to find the one that works for you. That's the most important thing. That's the thing that I've come to realize. Apart from that, if you're a guy, if you're in your 20s, if you're in your 30s, if you're in your 40s, you're probably wanting to increase your level of testosterone. That's why I created a free PDF below the video. You can go and sign up in the description, completely free. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.